And now switching gears, the Grand Junction Chamber of Commerce held an event today to give locals the opportunity to hear from experts of varying backgrounds on the future of energy in the Grand Valley. I attended the conference this morning to learn about what the future looks like. Geothermal also differs from our brother and sister renewables in that it is a baseload power generation technology. On Wednesday, the Grand Junction Chamber of Commerce hosted an energy summit, giving locals a chance to hear from expert speakers on topics such as geothermal energy. Jim Sims, the vice president of Neocorp Developments, led one session, introducing attendees to the endless possibilities of geothermal energy if given the right tools. He says this energy is a baseload power running 24 hours a day, unlike more familiar resources such as wind and solar. As of last year, geothermal only made up 1.8 percent of the United States power generation, but Sims is confident things are changing. That number is, I think, going to grow a lot, predominantly because of new drilling technologies that are coming into play. But new technology can generate new criticism. Geothermal energy involves fracking, a controversial topic across the United States. But Sim says this type of fracking is not to be confused with the same type conducted by the oil and gas industry. This fracking simply creates an underground reservoir. We want water through it, bring it up, and put it back down. Sims says if advances with the government and drilling technology are made, the possibilities for geothermal plants and the installment of heat pumps in homes are endless. If the government allows geothermal companies to create these underground reservoirs with fracking, that opens up a titanic potential for renewable baseload power generation in all 50 states. 